We are here with Mike Tyndall, World Cup winner. Good afternoon, Mike. Okay, so it's an exciting time for English rugby with the World Cup starting here on Friday. What do you rate our chances of winning the competition? Uh, I think we've got a really good chance. Uh, I think the squad um, is good enough to win it. Uh, we've obviously got a very tough group. I think ultimately we need to win our group. If we win our group, I see us being in the final and then... You know, when you get to a World Cup final, anything can happen. You just hope you turn up on the day. If we don't win our group, I think we'll struggle. But I think at home, we should win all our group games. So I'm backing them to be in the final. Great. Where do you think England's main strengths are? Um, I think the it would, it would, if you'd have asked me a while ago, you'd say the pack. I think we've got probably two packs that are of proper quality. Um, but coming through that Six Nations we're now we found an attract, attacking structure that really suits as well but it's nice that we've always got the good old fashioned grunt up front that we can fall back on as well and then provide the, the ball for the people likes of Johnny May Watson and, and Jonathan Joseph who've been so impressive over the last uh, especially the latter two over the last warm up games and, and JJ over the Six Nations Is there anyone who you feel was unlucky to miss the cut and should be in the squad? Um, I think there's a few there's a few hard luck stories out there. I think Luther Burrell, I would still have him in there. Um, I think he's he's done enough. I would have had Carl Eastman having a game at least in the warm ups to to sort of put his case forward. Um, Danny Cipriani's probably been a little bit unlucky as well in terms of you know just a little bit different off the bench and in the squad. Um, Ford Wise, Corbazero, in terms of his experience being a Lions, a Lions prop, um, you know, but the four pack is so well contested now in terms of quality that there were some difficult, difficult decisions within that. But um, mainly in the backs, they were the ones that I thought. Sam Burgess has been picked. Do you think this was the right decision from from Stuart Lancaster? I think it was a bold decision. Um, you know. From my point of view, I, I don't see him as a centre still. Um, not saying that he can't do the job. I just, you know, experience-wise, I don't see him as a centre. I, I think personally, if it had been me, I would have taken him. But as a, a sort of a, a back rower that can come off the bench and really give you sort of that explosive uh, option. Um, so it, it's a difficult one. But you know, Stewart's talked about his his pluses and pros and cons and. And if he, you know, he believes in it, and that's the only person that matters at the end of the day. <laughs>